Welcome back to Sunless Sea. My main goal at the moment is simply to make money so I can buy the Corvette ship. Unfortunately, I don't have a clear way of doing that, so I'm simply going to explore and hope something pops up. Looks like Khan's Heart is directly to the south of me, so let's go check that out. And in fact, I actually have a quest from the Admiralty to go check that out anyway. So he might award me extra favorably if I go get some information from there. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Forgot something. Can't forget the port report. It's slightly dangerous to do it, but it's an 88% chance of success. It'll go fine. I succeeded. Although I did gain a slight amount of K slight amount of Kaganian suspicion, nonetheless. It was worth it though. Also, I'm kind of low on fuel and kind of low on supplies, so I think I'm going to turn off my light for now. Where's the dock for this place? Khan's shadow is a long way to the east. Ooh. Sounds intriguing. Oh yeah, this is the place I can seek a commercial license. Hmm. Oh my god, there's so many things I can do. Okay, seek intelligence. Not worth it. Establish a spy? Nope. Port report. Very chancy. Hmm. If you have an intelligence network here, it's easier. Okay. So not worth it at the moment. That's not worth it. Pay a storyteller. Don't need crew. Dime in the tea house. Perhaps sufficient bribes will buy your way into the Nefridi Quarter. Hmm. Depends how much that would cost. It could be worth it. I mean, if I can get inside and they sell romantic literature, then I can make a thousand just from that alone. But if it costs like two thousand just to get the license, then... No. Nah, rejected. I think last time I was here, I paid a storyteller or something like that, and didn't it increase my suspicion? Like, they didn't like the fact that I was gathering information and somebody was giving me any information whatsoever. Like, they were super suspicious. Eh, let's do it again. <laughs> yep, gained suspicion. But I also gained a vision of the surface. You know what? <clears throat> if I sold all of my tales... Like, I have five tales of terror, 16 memories of distant shores. If I sold all that stuff, could I make enough money to buy the ship and be comfortable? I might be able to. I really don't want to sell it, though, because I know the stuff can be used for special and cool stuff. Something more special than simply money. Um, I'm very hesitant. Alright, so nothing to do here, basically? Nope. Do I want to go to Khan's Shadow? No. No, I'm too low on supplies. I think I'm going to just kind of skirt around here and then kind of make my way back to London. Yeah, so let's go in the shadows a little bit and then go back to London. I'm way too low on fuel. And none of these places are going to sell me anything at a reasonable price. 
Shit, then again, it is just right there. Nah, it's not worth it. I've only got 11 fuel. Not gonna push it. Gotta be something here. Nothing? This can't be right. Shit, I've got to head back. Okay, you know what? One thing I could do is go south and look for Visage. Because I think I actually have two quests for that place. I think I have my father's bones, which is my main quest, and I also have the Vendor Bite. The Vendor Bite person who wanted me to go get their, like, their wife or their girlfriend or something at the Academy. I really don't want to go down there, though, because there's some nasty stuff down there. It's creepy. I just don't know. I, I really don't know what to do. I know what I don't want to do, and that's go into the center of that crazy vortex. Incredibly unproductive. It's a jellyfish. Or is it? Actually, that seems rather large. No, that's an angler crab. Go ahead and explore the island. Actually... Yeah, let's just explore the island. God damn privateers everywhere! Okay, I know from experience, do not attack. Only a 44% chance of running away, but let's try it. I failed. I gained one tear and that's it. Okay. Not too bad. I guess I already have a port report for this place. Another thing I could try doing is giving all of my stories to the Academy back at London and seeing if increasing my favor by such a huge amount would maybe give me access to a quest or something like that. Like, I just have no idea. 
You know what? Let's try it. I think she pays me. Yeah, you know what? I think she pays me. We actually might be able to buy the boat right now. Let me turn on my port reports, and let me see what I can get for each story. Because I would not mind selling all of my stories if it meant I could buy that boat. I guess I still have the recent news. So I can't read the paper. Okay, he wanted something specific. Oh, I could even sell my Memento Moray to the Royal Navy. Nope. Oh, right, he wanted the port report from Khan's heart or Khan's glory or whatever, but I didn't get it because it was too chancy. Ah, that's right. Alright, so that's not going to happen. Okay, so I can give her Memories of Distant Shores, and I have 16. How much do you give me for each? 10 Echo? That's not enough. It's only 160 Echo in total. What about a Z story? Also 10? Eh. I only have one Lamentable Relic. I have a bunch of outlandish artifacts. Ooh, you know what? I think she'll give me a lot of money for the Searing Enigma. Let's do it. 1,000 Echo! Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm buying a boat. A ship, rather. I wish I had remembered that you get a thousand echo for selling your Searing Enigma. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, we're buying it right now. <sighs> Alright, let's be careful. Make sure we read the fine print so we don't sell our souls accidentally while trying to buy the new ship. Let's look at it. Let's, uh, let's stroke the ship first, gently. This is it. It's got 200 hole. Hold capacity is unfortunately the same. It's also heavier, so I guess it's probably going to be slower. But it's got an iron bonus of 5. And it has a forward slot. Which is very important. And everything else costs such a ridiculous amount that there's no way I'm buying that anytime soon. 29,000. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Give your new ship a name. Charlotte, I like that. I'm gonna stick with that. It's a heck of a lot better than anything I could come up with. All right, let's equip the stuff. So we have our old deck weapon and now we can equip the Memento Mori. So let's look at our damage. So our damage at the moment is 19 to 25. Let's see what happens. Whew. Okay, so the iron bonus actually gives us more damage on our other weapon, as well as actually adding more damage because it's another weapon. So this thing has a stagger, does way more life damage, crew damage of four instead of one. So assuming I low roll on both of these to a hole, I'm gonna do at a minimum 46 damage. So somewhere between 46 and like 
38 or something like that. I think I could even go up to 40, right? Five, six. Wait, no, no, no. Five, six. Yeah, I could go up to 60. Minimum of 46, max of 60. If we're just talking about hole damage. Yeah. Oh, this thing is beautiful. And of course, the life, the life damage is actually significantly higher. And I believe life damage means the damage that I do to, I guess, beasts of any sort? Or maybe just unarmored beasts. It's probably beasts of any sort. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, unfortunately, this thing does not have an aft slot. But, uh, let's see if there's anything else we can do. So for one, now that I have a bit of money, maybe I want to replace this weapon. Especially since I think it got nerfed in a patch. Because this was the weird one that was really cheap and was strangely good when I first bought it. And there's also lamps that I can buy. Although they do ruin my veils, which I don't like. Although I suppose my veils is... It's 37, so it's already not very good. I don't know. The really, really good ones don't have any minus to your veils. So maybe maybe I just want to wait until I have 4,000 extra money. That's not going to happen. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a deck weapon. What kind of deck weapons are available? Forward, deck. Oh, that's way too damn expensive. Hell no. Suppressor. Uh, oh, it goes into aft. Devours engine emissions, ensuring that your engines never explode at full power. Oh, that's really good. Also slightly improves your chances at evading enemy attention. Never explode at full power. <laughs> that would have saved me before, huh? That's pretty good. Still, though, if I bought that, I'd be damn poor. Might want some sort of torpedo-y thing. Alright, so this is the current one I have. It's 200. Is there another deck weapon? Aft weapon. A sting in your tail. So I'm guessing an aft weapon is completely pointless if the enemy is in front of you. Right? Is there ever going to be a case where the enemy is actually behind me? It seems unlikely. Alright, another deck. Looking for another deck one. Forward, forward, deck. Here we go. 500. Ooh, that's good. It does... 12 and 12. Wait, 12 and 12. And my current one does 50... I, I don't get it! I don't understand. This one does 15 and 15. The other weapon does less damage, but it costs more. What? How does that make any sense? Look, this is the one I have. It's 200. 15 and 15. This one is 12 and 12, and it costs 500. I don't understand. Yeah, I think an aft weapon seems kind of pointless. Could get torpedo nets. I don't think I have anything else to put in auxiliary, so I suppose I might as well. It's pretty cheap, too. Apparently you can deploy them. And this is ammunition for torpedo salvos, although I've never seen a torpedo salvo, so... Not quite sure what that's about. Alright, let's get a net. Bridge. Do I want the bridge thing? Or was that? Is that this? Oh no, that's aft. Oh, I don't have that slot. Whoops. So what do you put in your bridge? That's the lights, right? Yeah. Hmm. Probably not going to buy anything for that. 
Yeah, I don't feel any need for a tail gun. I think I'm good. Let's just, uh, get some supplies and whatnot. Do I want to just sell my Zindalac? Because I don't think I'm ever going to get seven. Yeah, I'm just going to sell it. Along with my bolt of spider silk. I could buy a crate of human souls. And go give it to the Deviless at Mount Palmerston. But I don't really want to go up there again. I want to go down. I want to be adventurous. I have a new boat. I'm going to be adventurous. New engine. Way too expensive. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. I do need people, though. I've got five more slots, and I really want to fill them up. I wonder if more people consume more supplies. Hmm. It would make sense, but I really hope it's not the case. Well, there's one crew member. Unfortunately, that's it for now. I could just pay a lot of money just to do it outright. But let's just do it. Oh, I even failed. I still get a crew member, though, so what, what, what did I lose by failing? Oh, you, you gained three crew. Oh. Huh. All right, well, cool. We're good. Plenty of supplies, plenty of fuel. In fact, I actually think I want some more supplies. Okay. Look at this, baby. Let's see how fast it is. Actually, this doesn't feel any slower at all, even though it weighs twice as much. Actually, if anything, this feels a hell of a lot faster. But maybe it's just because I'm so excited to have a new boat that it feels that way? Boink. <laughs> um, I kind of have a lot of fear, so I'm actually going to go up here to Hunter's Keep and let's uh, use my recent news. Let's get into some fights. Yeah, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Where can I find things that have around 200 hit points? Hmm. I could go back to over here where I saw that scary stuff, because I think those rowboats had around 200 hit points. We have news! Let's talk with Lucy. Gain supplies, lost hand terror. Let's get a port report. And if we get a ding as we go down here, then we can stop back at London and get some more recent news. Teleporting boat! Hi! Oh, it teleported. What a surprise. No ding. Alright, where am I gonna go? Where, where, where? I could go try to find Visage, but I think the things down here are way too strong. 
I think there's stuff with more like 400 hit points. And I can't take that on. Well, I, I might be able to, but it's too risky. Before I've, like, felt out the capabilities of this new ship, I don't want to go for something too big. Let's start with something small. I'm just going to go over here. Yeah, let's go here, because I saw some stuff there that had around 200 hit points. It was creeping me out before. Let's go back. Things a gas guzzler. I'm gonna turn off my lights for a bit. Hmm, shall I fight that thing? It's a teleporting ship? Is it like fucking stalking me or something? What is wrong with you? Oh, one of my guns is very limited. It's, uh, in it's spread. I need that thing to come up, though. Ooh, hello. Let's go for these. Oh my god. That was awesome. Might as well stop by here for a port report. Gained terror. Oh, is that not the port report? Oh, this is the port report. Alright, let's see if we can get this big bastard to come up. I think I might need the uh, strange catch to actually get it to come to the surface. It says I can shoot it, but... Oh, hello. There we go. Let's try to get behind the thing. Oh. Ow. Oh, 10 damage? That's nothing. Ow. Okay, that, that actually hurts. These are not as easy to get behind and avoid taking damage as the other things. Ow. There goes 25% of my health. Okay, noted. You kind of have to tank these things. You can't just get behind them and expect to not be attacked. Let's not dissect it. Gained one supply and an un... Pre... What is this? Pre... pre, pre what the fuck is that word? Prepossessing. Un... Prepossessing mass. I don't know what that word means. Hmm? There's probably something horrible inside, but possibly there is not. Hmm. It won't keep, but it looks tasty. Fling it overboard, you will gain nothing, but at least you won't suffer terror effects. I'm curious. I can't just leave this. I'm too curious. Bland but sustaining. It's rather like eating drought. If the trout had tried to kill you a few hours ago. Take that, ersatz trout. Huh. 
It did nothing. Well, shit, after taking so much damage, I kind of I kind of want to just go back and repair my vessel. I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, back to roughly where I was. Ooh, we can take that jelly jellyfish, no problem. I think I'll do it, not really for the supplies or anything like that, but just to reduce my terror. Then let's head over to the, uh, around the cons area. It's charging. Come on. Still a little bit tricky to take down, even with the ship. Oh yeah. As somebody pointed out, it looks like there's a... Like a howling, ghostly face, right about here, in the jellyfish. Wait, let it disperse, unlocked with no more than zero times port report visage. Hmm? I d what? O okay. If I had found visage, I couldn't do that? Why? From above, the jelly floor's cap does look a little like a woman's face. She dissolves like smeared paint. Might as well take a stop at the salt lines while we're here. and check the camp. One fragment, that's it. Alright, we're cruising the waters looking for trouble. Come on, rowboats. I'm not going to be satisfied until I take at least one 200, roughly 200 hit point rowboat down. Oh? Do we have a taker? Oh, that thing's nothing. Hold on, though. I really would rather not fight it from the front. Can it hit me from there? Shit, I might be in range. I'd prefer to take no damage. Uh, yeah, it looks like it can't hit me. Uh, I think I'm in range. Oh, there we go. Captain is a complete idiot. I want to fire this one. Boom! Oh, this is beautiful. One fuel, one supplies, and a firkin of prisoner's honey. Which, because of my handy dandy chart, let me switch over to it. Firkin of prisoner's honey, let's see, is that here? Looks like we can sell that at Gator's Morn for 26 Echo. Okay, so it's not worth that much.
Oh my god, there's so many boats here. That is so cool looking. It's like a floating town made from boats. Long ago, the Ganate turned its back on its warrior traditions. It has no place for pirates and would-be nomads. So here, in the shadow, the exiles make their home, amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, decommissioned ships. Acquire a doomed monster hunter. Hmm? The rebel lords of the Ganate are hungry for the secrets of the Dawn Machine. One among their number will volunteer to die for you, should you provide what they need. Let's get a port report. Not much going on here. Ooh, hello. This is some interesting stuff. <laughs> a mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. I don't ever want to open that box. You can keep it. You can keep your angry dream snakes. I would much rather have a, a cheaper, empty mirror catch box than a one full of angry dream snakes. What is this? Is that a weapon? No, it equips to aft. This frankly sinister device reduces the amount of fuel that an engine uses. It also really frightens the crew. Apparently that's necessary. Plus 10 efficiency, minus 10 hearts. That, is, that does not seem worth it. And that's expensive as hell too. Star shell. I can sell them. Did a judgment hatch from this grim relic? Oh, a judgment's egg? Hmm. Oh, we can actually outright buy Stygian Ivory. Interesting. There we go. I've gone ahead and written everything down in my spreadsheet. And I noticed one little thing. So if you notice, the Devilbone Dice, here at Khan's Shadow, sells for 22. But you can actually buy Devilbone's Dice at Mount Palmerston for 19. That's right! A profit margin of... Three echo per... I think these are barrels. Per barrel of devil bone dice. Three echo! I could do that trade route and make a fat 30 echo. Oh, so good. So good. No, seriously though, you... If you wanted to make any money from that, you would have to have the merchant's ship. Even with the merchant's ship, it's probably still not worth it, given the amount of fuel that you'd burn through just going... Up to Mount Palmerston and back. It's actually pretty close, really. But, still. Nope. Alright, let's go blow somebody up and then end the episode, shall we? this place. Yeah, I tried to come here from the top up here, and I kept getting boat blocked by those damn rowers. Let's see if we can come at it from the left. Looks like we can. Well, I wanted to blow somebody up. Is nobody obliging? Hello? Oh god, it's one of those fucking creepy faces. But those are terrifying. Look at them. Do you just die if you go over them, or maybe they don't do anything? I can't target it, so I don't think it's an enemy. I don't know. Alright, am I crazy, or is this island built on top of a wrapped mummy? I guess wrapped mummy is kind of a tautology, isn't it? Mummies are always wrapped. But I'm pretty sure this is a body.
Well, I was going to blow somebody up before the end of this episode, but if I keep just waiting for that moment, this episode's going to be very long, so let's end it after we explore this place. The brawling bearded men who live here call themselves monks. They pay lip service to Saint Stalactite, which fell from the roof. But their chief interests seem to be wine, blood, and shouting. <laughs> Saint Stalactite, which fell from the roof. Hmm, they'll give me money for five casks, casks of mushroom wine. I'm just looking over at my spreadsheet here. Um, yeah, so I can't buy any casks from Khan's Shadow. I can only sell them. Ah, need Foxfire Candles to explore. Let's just get a port report. They're eager to talk about their history. The Stalactite, they assure you, was one of the citadels of the starved men who dwell in the roof. When it fell, a few of its occupants survived to become the monks' progenitors. How does that work, you wonder, with their vow of celibacy? They become vague, and are suddenly eager to speak of the details of passing shipping. Wait, speak of the details of passing shipping. Passing shipping. Passing ships? Do you have shops? They don't. Damn. Okay, so I'm going to write down a note. Five casks of wine for Godfall. Because that's relatively cheap. I think it's about... It probably would cost about 30 Echo for each one. So that's a bit less than 150 Echo for... Well, something. It says they'll pay. I don't know if that means pay in, in Echo or in something else. But it's probably worth it. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here before it becomes over an hour long. So, not an amazingly exciting episode. It started with a lot of indecision and then turned into a... a massive burst of excitement when I realized I could actually buy the ship. And I did blow up one thing that there's no way I could have possibly taken before in my other ship. That big 150 hit point crab thing. But aside from that, I haven't done anything particularly exciting. But... I'm pretty confident in the next episode I should be able to get his, get into some trouble around here. And I do want to go up to Aestevel to go uh, gather some more supplies. So I think I'm probably going to head up here over to Aestevel and probably just straight down south. If I have enough fuel, do I? Kinda, 16. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.